really wish you'd try to get along with Bingo. I mean, maybe you don't know the fun you can have with a pet. Have you ever actually had one? Well, of course I had a pet. Remember, Ma, I was six years old and I wanted a pony? Not the pony thing again. <laughs> she promised me a pony. She swore I'd get a pony. She brings me a little paper bird on a stick from the circus. You know, the kind that you have to twirl around your head to get them to tweet. And that was your pet? They're very clean. <laughs> then she tells me if I'm a good girl, a really good girl, God will turn that paper bird into a real one. Which I believe, because why would a mother lie? <laughs> So every day I'm being very good and praying and looking for any sign of life and becoming very attached to that ridiculous paper bird. So you can imagine my heartbreak when one morning I find it dead. How does a paper bird die? Good question. Someone used it to restart the pilot light. So long. It's been hours. It took me three and a half days to have Dorothy. I finally coaxed her out with a pork chop. You know, Ma, you're really making me feel very bad. You keep telling me how hard it was and how long it took to have me. Did I mention the colic? <laughs> Ma, you're hurting my feelings. Not as much as you hurt my uni. Ma! <laughs> I'll tell you something, Dorothy. No matter how much pain I went through, and it was a lot, I wouldn't give up having you for anything in the world. Thanks, Ma. And I knew you'd be special. Uh, and I didn't disappoint you? A little. <laughs> oh, I guess every mother feels their children are gonna be something special when they first see them. And then we disappoint them by not becoming Olympic stars. Oh, Rose. Well. <laughs> Rose, honey, is that why you're training? For your parents? They always wanted me to be a champion ice skater. They were so proud watching me practice. I know their dream was for me to win a gold medal, but I hate ice skating. Rose, listen, you don't have to do anything to please your parents. She's right. I'd like to be proud of Dorothy for something, but I'm not gonna kill myself if that day never comes. <laughs> But my parents called me Twinkle Toes. I call Dorothy Bigfoot. <laughs> that doesn't mean she has to make tracks all over the Northwest. What Ma is trying to say is that she loves me for what I am. That's right. An over the hill school teacher who has to wait for the phone to ring to know if she's gonna work that day. Uh, it doesn't matter what your parents want. Rose, you're never gonna make them happy. They're just gonna nag you and nag you until you wanna grab their throats and choke them, but you don't because you're in a hospital with resuscitating equipment. In other words, Rose, hang up the skin. Rose, you all right? I just feel a little faint. I, I think getting together with my old friends is starting to get to me. Rose, you don't know anybody here. So the snubbing isn't race-oriented? Oh, God, you know, I really hate reunions. I mean, everybody is so plastic and fake, everybody pretending to be something they're not. Why can't people just be themselves? Cindy Lou Peoples, Tommy Lunt. Ah! <laughs> uh, hold on, you're not Cindy Lou Peoples. I don't know what you're talking about. I brought my mother. She'll vouch for me. Yes, that, that's Mrs. Gonzalez. Uh, C. <laughs> They're both imposters. Run, Ma, run. No. Dorothy? Uh -oh. Do you see what you've done? You've upset Kim Fung Toy. I know Ma is faking. She is not really paralyzed. It's only natural for you to feel that way. At the counseling center, we learned that the first reaction to catastrophe is denial. Rose, I am not in denial. Oh, yes, you are. You're just denying you're in denial. <laughs> Rose, I am not denying that I am in denial. If you're not denying you're in denial, then you're in denial. 
Look, Fluffhead. Why should I deny being in denial when I never said I was in denial? You are the one who said I was in denial, and don't you deny it. <laughs> Her mother lived to be 94 and was active right up until the very end. I remember when Grandma was in a wheelchair, she was on the go from morning till night. But she always had time to talk to her grandchildren. Gee, if I close my eyes, I can, I can hear her saying, come on, you snot-nosed little rugrats. Pick up those jacks, they're puncturing holes in my tires. But the most amazing thing about Grandma was that in 1952, she decided to go into politics. Politics? Uh huh. She felt it was her personal responsibility to elect Adlai Stevenson president. <laughs> well, she didn't care for Eisenhower because, you know, he claimed to have liberated Italy, and she said Italy was liberated enough. <laughs> Already too many people eating meat on Friday <laughs> and wearing condoms on Saturday. Oh. Whatever happened to her? She colonized life on Venus. <laughs> Rose, she was 94 when I was six. She died, you idiot. Adesiac, it's a substance that makes you feel sexy. Really? Yes. Like what? Like uh, Spanish fly. Spanish flies? Fly, fly, Rose, one fly. <laughs> oh, come on, Dorothy. I've been to Spain. It's not the cleanest country in the world. <laughs> They've got thousands of flies. Valencia alone. It is not a fly, Rose. Spanish fly is not a fly? No. What is it? It's a beetle. They call it a fly, but it's really a beetle? Yes. How do they know it's Spanish? Because it wears a little sombrero, Rose. <laughs> but why don't they just call it a beetle? Spanish beetle. Because they call it Spanish fly. Well, then what do they call their fly? I don't care, Rose. <laughs> Forget it, I don't care. The minks can just sit there and we'll lose all our money, I don't care. Just don't mention Spanish fly to me ever again. You're really touchy about these Spanish flies, aren't you? Done with this side of the family tree. I think you have the papers there from the Roquet marriage. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Walker Roquet married Rosalind Roquet, 1861. Rosalind was from... Uh-oh. What? Well, I hate telling you this, Blanche. No, that's not true. I look forward to telling you this, Blanche. The woman your great-grandfather married was born, well, outside of Georgia. How far outside of Georgia? Buffalo. <laughs> You're a Yankee, Blanche. Well, no, this can't be. A Yankee doodle. There must be some mistake. You are that Yankee Doodle gal. Let me see the certificate. I want to see with my own eyes that my great grandmother was that thing you said. A Yankee. Right. A Yankee Doodle. Oh, stop it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, did I mention her last name was Feldman? <laughs> No, 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 I can't be. I can't be Jewish. I'll be damned. The black guy is prejudiced. 